Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art. Um, this is my last day in Louisiana and I probably will not do another reading, frankly, until Monday because I'm going to be traveling most of the day. Tomorrow's Sunday, this is Saturday. So anyways, let me get right to it. We are reading our book, Poison Power, from Dr. John Goffman. We're on page 238, second par first paragraph. <clears throat> In chapter 10 that says, what can citizens do about nuclear electricity? The public must be prepared for a massive barrage of propaganda from the Federal Atomic Energy Agencies and the electric utility industry. They will tell you that after all, members of these bodies breathe the same air, drink the same water, and live on the same earth as the rest of us. And it is true. So true that if they, if they can forget for a moment their immediate parochial interests, they too might endorse a moratorium on nuclear power plants, at least until we can learn to handle this technology safely. The ads about your good neighbor, Nuke, will pour forth in the newspapers, the television, and in the lovely monthly utility company throwaways. Expensive two-page newspaper ads will remind us that the Western White House is located 440 yards from the 430 megawatt San Onofre nuclear plant and that it has not yet suffered injury. And we all know what's happened with San Onofre, don't we? How can the American people, whatever their politics, stand idly by in such perilous times while their president sojourns often at his western White House. The region is one where a disaster evacuation is required by the AEC to allow operation of the nuclear reactor at all. One of the major accomplishments of a moratorium on nuclear reactors might be to remove the president of the United States from this senseless risk. <clears throat> well, that president, Nixon, um, he ended up leaving anyways, right? Whatever the pressure of the pro-nuclear power, propa power propaganda barrage, it is worth remembering that the American public is not stupid. Given an opportunity to look at the facts, they will surely decide on a moratorium on nuclear electric plants. There's a whole page right here, and I'd like to show it to you. It says, to our patients, we physicians in Santa Cruz concerned about radiation hazards to human beings question the safety of a nuclear plant in our community. Number one dot that says, can a nuclear plant be constructed close to a city without endangering the public? Would a nuclear power plant in Santa Cruz be safe from natural disasters, earthquakes, sabotage, or war? What are the long-term effects of the expected radiation on marine life and the air we breathe? Scientists disagree on the answers to these questions. As your physicians, we feel it is a responsibility to urge sufficient delay on the planning of a nuclear power plant to, to allow a further study of these questions. And then there is a long, long list of doctors, and I guess they're all uh, from various countries. It says, in various parts of the country, Citizen groups have been formed to fight the construction of newer nuclear power plants. The above ad appeared in a local newspaper in Santa Cruz, California. And I'll show it to you. This was an ad that was placed. And these are the doctors that asked for us to slow the train down. And our needs, our health has summarily been ignored and we are super screwed. Okay. Fortunately, the press has been reporting the grim prospects associated with radiation hazards fully and honestly, so the public is becoming informed. Further, the public is undoubtedly more interested in self-preservation than in preserving the AEC bureaucracy or the profit margin of the electric utility industry. The public is justifiably skeptical of an industry which proclaims that it must build new nuclear electric power plants to meet demands, then proceeds to spend millions for advertisements dedicated to increasing electric power consumption. The polluters' cliches are rapidly becoming appreciated for what they are, a manifestation of total unconcern for the environment 
And I honestly, we went backwards. It looked like they were making progress, and we've gone backwards on that one because that's all we have now. We have a 100%, 100% manifestation of total unconcern for the environment. That's a great phrase. Back to the book. In the states where the mechanisms of initiative is, regrettably, not available, citizens should work hard to get it established, for the environmental struggle is only beginning. One has only a T... I don't think they got that. It is only beginning. I think they just gave up. One has only to observe the politicians' inaction on environmental matters and the collusion of governmental regulators with those they regulate, to realize that traditional pro approaches will only hasten the deterioration of our environment. A moratorium petition signed by tens of thousands of constituents can have a powerful effect in awakening sleepy state legislators and can even activate governors to take a position with the public on such matters. Those who refuse to wake up and bestir themselves may simply have to be retired. Obviously, the more names petitions contain, the more likely it is that state legislators will be shaken from their lethargy. The informed part of the public with respect to nuclear hazard must become active in educating those who are still un uninformed or worse, misinformed. All the logic and all the evidence to counter the empty platitudes of the proponents of nuclear power are available. Proponents who are able to present any logical points to support their position in a debate are rare. Encourage the AEC and the utility representatives to debate in public forums where any weaknesses and illogic in their arguments are exposed to full view. Man the negative side of the debate with the most knowledgeable combatants available. Each such debate guarantees additional support for the moratorium we are urging. AEC and the electric utility industry suggest that unless we go through with the nuclear power plans, the iron lungs in which our hospitals, the iron lungs in our hospitals will have to shut down for want of electricity. Such assert assertions can be countered with facts. It is industries that consume most electricities, not iron lungs, not stereo sets, not air conditioners, and not electric toothbrushes. Recycling aluminum, for example, instead of wastefully using electricity pr to produce new aluminum, would help to solve our solid waste problem as well as our power problem. The electric utility industry may one day find itself backing the effort to obtain a moratorium on nuclear electricity generating plants. The industry is caught in a vice and is currently trying to extricate itself gracefully. Deceived by AEC assurances of cheap, safe sources of additional electric power, they invested prestige and billions of dollars in the nuclear enterprise. The directors of these corporations will realize sooner or later that they have made a disastrous mistake and decide not to throw good money after bad. The time will have come to cancel the good neighbor nuke propaganda line. A moratorium on the building of above ground nuclear electric plants can give us breathing space for some rational considerations of the power supply problem. If we make, excuse me, if we make our determination to have it widely and firmly enough known, the research and development funds of, a na of the nation will go to those areas needed to supply necessary, safe, clean electric power. I'm going to read that sentence again. If we make our determination to have it widely and firmly enough known, the research and development funds of the nation will go to those areas needed to supply safe, necessary, clean electric power. And that is the end of Chapter 10. I will stop here. I guess I'm at nine minutes. We're now going to be entering Chapter 11. Must we hold out for the, quote, cold corpses, unquote. We're on page 243.
And put your courage feet on, you guys. We definitely need it. Ciao.